with a tender upcoming for fourth generation wireless telecommunications, 4G, a report details past acts of corruption and favoritism in telecommunications licensing. As the tender for 4G originally planned to take place later this month has been postponed to August, a study conducted by the Center for Legal, Ethical, and Political Studies, HESA, concludes that massively corrupt practices were rife in the 2G-3G auctions conducted in 1998 and 2009, respectively, essentially warning of the continuation of such practices during Turkey's search for newer and faster communications infrastructures. The report states, it was the then government-owned Turk Telecom that used to operate the system through its subcontractors, namely Turkcell and Telsim, adding, the Treasury used to retain 67% of the revenue and the subcontractors, two GSM companies, used to cover all their expenses from the remaining 33% and make a profit. According to the report, the revenue-sharing system of telecommunications companies only lasted for five years as it was in the interest of the state and not the telecommunications companies. HESA states that the then-government, a three-party coalition, signed two licensing contracts with the GSM operators Turkcell and Telsim in 1998. According to the terms of the concession agreements, the government waived 67% of revenue in return for 15% of gross sales and a lump sum of $500 million for each concession, the HESA report underlines. The document says that the government at the time, headed by Prime Minister Mesut Ilmaz was accused of selling out the public resources at the expense of $1 billion. In the aftermath of the concession agreements, heated debates took place in Parliament over allegations of corruption during the drafting of the agreements. A parliamentary investigation commission was then set up, which ruled that the then Prime Minister and Minister of Transportation and Communication were personally responsible. They were consequently sent to the Constitutional Court sitting as the High Court for Criminal Trial, according to the report. HESA's report also points out that similar practices were in place during the tender for 3G licensing where only 3G SM operators were allowed to bid, since there were no other bidders, Turkcell, Vodafone, and Avia offered the minimum amounts, which led to a loss in the Treasury's share. The report also states that in contrast to popular belief at the time that the ruling Justice and Development Party, AK Party, which came to power in 2002, was intent on putting an end to fraudulent practices and corruption in public tenders, it made an unjust deal with GSM operators in 2006 by amending the calculation of revenue from gross income to gross sales, which further dwindled the money to be paid to the Treasury. Expressing that the minimum amounts for the 3G tender in 2009 were determined at the whims of the government rather than objective criteria HESA's report continues, the duration of the 3G concession agreements was deliberately fixed for 20 years, ending in 2029. The government favored the current GSM operators by setting a date to end in 2029 rather than 2023. HESA's report also states that with 48.2% telecommunication tax, the highest in the world, Turkish governments find ways to overcharge the public. The world average telecommunication tax rate in the world is 18%, according to HESA.